In this video, we're going to be talking about the Linux shell, specifically how to navigate the file system. If you're watching this video, I imagine you're probably pretty new to the Linux file system, uh, new to terminal in general, and are just now opening a terminal and wondering what to do with it. So that's sort of uh, the frame up where we're starting. First command you really want to learn in the Linux terminal is list. For that, we just do ls. This tells us what is in the folder that we're currently sitting in. And right now we are in the home folder. Whenever you open a new terminal, you typically start out in the home folder, and that's indicated by the little tilde. And my screen, you can see it over on the right. And I can actually do ls space tilde, which will always list my home directory, even if I'm somewhere else. You can also go ls dot dot. This will tell us the directory above the one that we're in currently. And we can see the lrvic folder or ls dot dot slash dot dot. We can go up two directories and that shows us actually the root of the file system with everything on it. Or I can do ls slash which does the same thing, shows us the very root directory and everything on the system. Or I can do ls slash home slash lrvic and we're right back where we started. So, uh, in order to find a little bit more about list, we're going to use the man command. Man is manual, and you can type in any command after man, and more often than not, you're going to have a result for it. This is going to show us lots of different uh, options here. I'm looking for one in particular. Dash L, right there. Use long listing format. So I'm going to hit Q to quit, and we're going to try that. LS dash L for a long listing format and to compare regular LS and LS dash L. So we can see it gives us a lot more details, uh, who owns the file, what permissions are on the file, uh, how large the file is when it was last modified. This can definitely be helpful. Uh, a lot of other commands uh, are arguments that you should uh, take a look at. Next command we're going to look at though is cd for change directory because we want to go into a directory and we're going to go into sources. And you'll see what I did there is I actually just hit tab. You can actually just start typing a directory and hit tab and it will complete it for you. So that's helpful to know. Um, if you also have something that is um, um, close like documents and downloads, it'll let you toggle between the two if you hit tab. But I said we're going to go to sources. So, I'm going to go to the sources, ls, see that I have a few uh, projects in here, and I'm going to make a directory, and that's with the make dir command, and I'm going to call it foo. And off at ls again, we see that there is, in fact, foo in the folder, and it's also a folder. Now, if I want to go to foo, I can do cd again for change directory and go to foo ls and nothing in the folder. I can do ls dot dot show what is in the folder above. Now that I'm in the folder I'm gonna go ahead and create a file. Uh, for this we're gonna use the touch command. Touch is just uh, a command that will let you create an empty file wherever you need one. Um, great for quick little things like this. Uh, I'm gonna make a file called bar and now we see that there is in fact bar in the folder. Now if I want to get rid of a file, you can use the remove command. This is rm and rm bar. Gets rid of the file. I'll let us again. It's gone. And touch monkey, touch panda, touch. Now we have a bunch of files. You can actually do multiple at the same time. Now I'm going to do cd dash. And this will go up one directory. Uh, excuse me, this will always go back to your previous directory. And there we are at sources. And I can actually use that again to toggle back where I was. So this is always a quick toggle if you're back and forth between two folders. But now that I'm back in sources, I can ls and see the foo folder. And I like to get rid of the whole thing. I can use rm foo, but rm cannot remove foo because foo is a directory. It's This is there to protect you. You have to specifically specify if you want to delete a directory and everything in it. 
So I'm going to do that with dash r, which is recursive, and that gets rid of foo altogether. From here, I'm going to go ahead and type clear, which clears off the screen and gets us back to a clean slate. And I encourage you to play with these commands on your own console and check in for the next lesson.